All right, gonna give you a quick rundown today on how to charge your batteries. And there's three main styles that we have here at Expo LA. We have 6150 three cell batteries that are 11.1 volts. We have a 800 milliamp that is a three cell 11.1 volt with a JST connector. And the 6150 has a banana connector. And then we also have some six cell batteries six cell 22.2 volts that also have the banana connectors so fairly straightforward i'll give you a quick little rundown today so once you get your charger go ahead and plug it in power it up there's a few settings that i personally like so i will show you jared's wonderful miraculous settings that his wife has also approved because that way it turns off the beeper and it's not noisy late at night so we're going to jump into hit the red button jump back to the program Hit the green button and we're going to start scrolling through here and look for the safety on timer. I like to turn this one off so that way it does not time out at 120 minutes. So we're going to turn that one off. We're going to head back into the program again. We're going to hit the green, go forward, pass the safety timer. The next one is the capacity cutoff so that way it does not cut off at 5000 milliamps, especially since we're charging. 6100 and 8000 milliamps so we don't want it to time off it's where we have to go back to our timer so and restart it so we're going to go ahead and turn that one off we'll jump back out you can hear it beeping right now that is the sound my wife hates especially when it's two o'clock in the morning and a battery is done it wakes her up she thinks it's a fire alarm so let's head back into the program we're going to jump up to the key beep and the buzzers here we're going to turn both of those off. Ah, peace and quiet. All right, at this point, we're going to jump back over to the LiPo battery programming. For the charge, there's two settings that I like to charge, or that I like to use in here. One is the standard charge. The next one over is the balance charge. So we're gonna go in here and set both of those for our batteries. So the first one here, we're gonna hit the green button one time change the amps from 0.1 and we're going to bump that up into the five to six range if you're charging a 6150 or an 800 milliamp battery. If we are charging the 8000 six cell, then I actually like to be down around two amps. So you can simply change it to whatever amperage you want. The lower your amps, the longer it will take your battery to charge. But of course, on the upside, the longer your battery is going to last for the long run. So anyway, we'll jump back up to, six, to the uh, five to six range. Hit the green button. Right now it's on 3.7 volts. We are charging an 11.1 volt battery. So make sure that we change that to 11.1 volts for your charge if you're charging a three cell battery. So 11.1 volts, we're going to hit the green button. We're going to then jump over to the balance charge same thing, we'll bump that up to five to six amps. Right now it says 22.2 volts. You will catch your fire, your battery on fire. Make sure that you change that to 11.1 .1 volts. So those settings are now set. So if you are charging just on a regular charge, we're going to plug our banana connector in. Just plug red into red, black into black. If you are colorblind, please get somebody else to plug these in for you. All right, plug your banana connector in for your battery. And if you are just on the regular charge, you do not have to plug in your little cord here for the balance charger. So at this point, simply just hold down the green button. It's going to verify that it's a three cell battery. Hit the green button again, and your battery is now charging. You can stop it at any, at any time by hitting the red button. We're going to jump over to the balance charge where I like to charge my batteries. Again, it balances all your cells. Your battery will last longer. So I will plug the three cell port into the, the uh, three cell connector there. You cannot mess that one up and simply hold down your green button again. And your battery is now charging. Now, if we want to, and again, we can stop this at any time, I'm going to unplug the 6150 and take the banana connector off. 
So we're going to jump over to the 800 milliamp, which has a different connector on the end. So it's not the banana connector, it's the GST. So same thing, just plug red into red, black into black. You'll take your 800 milliamp, connect your connectors together. Again, you can charge it either on balance charge or on the uh, regular charge. Again, I like to go balance charge on, on everything. So we'll plug it into the three cell port on the side. It's still set up on the 11.1 volts, balance charge. So same thing, just hold down your green button, let it verify, hit the green again, and you are now charging. At this point, we'll go ahead and jump over to the six cell battery. So we'll just simply hit our stop button, disconnect our three cell battery. And it's gonna be the, the banana connector for our six cell. So we're going to disconnect the JST plug our black into black, red into red again. We'll go ahead and plug our six cell, banana to banana. Again, balance charge is how I like to charge mine. So this is a six cell this time. So we're gonna plug the six cell plug into the six cell port. And the difference this time is I like to then drop my amperage down to by hitting the green button one time. I'm going to stay on the balance charge, hit the green button one time. Uh, I personally have found and like the two amps is the, where I like to be with a six cell battery. So I have it on two amps, hit the green button to verify, move it over to your volts. Uh, this is a 22.2 volt battery. So we're going to bump that up to 22.2. Simply hit the green button, hold your green button down. It's now going to verify that it's a six cell battery and hit your green button to start. And that's all there is to charging your battery. Your timer will automatically stop and turn off when your battery is full. With a six cell battery, it's going to be 25.2 volts is going to be your range. On a three cell battery, it will be 12.6 will be the range. It doesn't have to be perfect or exact, but it will automatically turn off in that range. When it's full, it says full.